In this video, we're going to look at how to set up OneNote uh, on your Windows machine. This is part of step one in my system, where it's about you wanting to create good habits. And a good habit is to store information into OneNote into the collection section. So we're going to start with creating the OneNote and storing it in OneDrive. So you open One, OneNote on your computer, and then you choose a place to store it. And you want to choose OneDrive because that syncs across devices and you can access it from wherever you are. OneDrive has two uh, ways of doing it. It's either a personal OneDrive or OneDrive for business. I recommend using OneDrive for business within Office 365 if you have access to it because that supports two-factor authentication and probably have a better security regime around your identity. But uh, OneDrive Personal works just as fine. So we're going to call it, and uh, in this example, I'm calling it uh, G GTD for getting things done. You can call it whatever. And uh, you want to create the first section and it's gonna be called collection. After creating that collection section, you want to go into file and options. That is where you're going to choose the default sections for contact notes, for um, sending to OneNote from email, sending to OneNote from notes and so on. So you're going to choose that collection sections for all those different send to OneNote actions. And the most important one is is from Outlook when you send to OneNote an email message to that collection section. So we're going to leave meeting notes blank because we're going to create a new section called meeting notes. I want to differentiate between collection notes and meeting notes because meeting notes is meetings you have with your customers from workshops and whatever. And that uh, I want to sort into typical customer sections uh, later on. So taking notes from a meeting from Outlook or Skype just goes to that section. So we go back to file and option and we are setting up uh, that going to the meeting section. Finally, here is a super tip because you have one more place where you can choose the default section and that is for quick notes. And I actually spent some time finding out how to change it because it was not obvious and it wasn't in the same place as everywhere else. So you actually need to go to File, Options, and you need to go to Save and Backup. And at the top there, you can change where Quick Notes get stored. And you want to switch that going to um, that collection section as well. So now you probably have set up uh, and know how to set up OneNote on OneDrive so it syncs across devices. You have created your first section. You will send to OneNote from your Windows machine. Even Quick Notes will go into the collection section. Meeting Notes will go into the meeting sections and you're all set for succeeding with OneNote on your Windows machine. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me because then you will get notifications of when I publish new OneNote life hacks. See ya.